Remember Wario Land? Well, do you wish you could play it again? Well, you can. Sort of. Pizza Tower is a spiritual successor to the Wario Land series, and it is certainly brilliant, with its fun gameplay, expressive animation, amazing music, and boss fights. I would definitely recommend this game, so let's go over what makes it so great. But first, one minor complaint that's more of a warning is that the controls on keyboard do take a little bit of time to get used to. The goal of Pizza Tower is to make it to the top of the Pizza Tower by conquering each floor level by level and boss by boss. On the first floor, we can see fellow chef Gustavo running away from a rat. It's here that we'll fight the first boss, that being a Pepperman. Who looks more like an apple. A pepper looks like this. A banana looks like this. It's not relevant, I just wanted to show you a picture of a banana. The second floor takes place in a western inspired area, with the boss being a doe creature who wields a gun. In this fight, you also get a gun and need to shoot him in a quick draw event at the end. The third boss is a character inspired by Domino's Pizza mascot, The Noid. This character being The Noise, who is definitely a highlight of the game for me personally. His boss fight is quite challenging and did take me a couple tries. To beat this boss, you need to hit him when he stops from attacking you to taunt you. These ta taunts will include flipping you off with his middle finger and shaking his gas emitter. The core gameplay of Pizza Tower is to make it to the end of the level where you'll break down a wall and you need to rush back to the beginning of the level to escape before it falls down. Many of the levels inside of Pizza Tower are extremely unconventional and creative. One of those being a mini golf course where you'll need to hit a little doe creature into the goals. Another extremely creative level found inside the game is one similar to Five Nights at Freddy's. In this level, you'll need to be avoid being seen by cameras or one of these SCP looking creatures will try to kill you. There is a fair bit of jump scares in this level if you get caught by them. To challenge the boss fight on each floor, you'll need to collect enough money to rent a gate from Mr. Sticks. Oh god! Oh, that is so cute! Chad, come look at this! Have you seen this? Look at this little character! This, this, look at this little guy! This little guy! Chad! Max! Look at this! I've seen it! There's a little character! I've seen it a million times! There's a little character! I've seen it a million times! Look at it! Stop! Have you seen this little guy? <laughs> The main character, Peppino, is not the only playable character, as you can also play as the duo of Gustavo, or you can call him Gus, and the rat named Rick. This is the same rat that you can see him on the first floor running from. Turns out they ended up becoming friends. I'm not going to go over the fourth and fifth boss, as it's better if you experience them for the first time by yourself. Same goes for the final level. But I do have to say, the final boss's music is extremely good, and definitely a highlight of the soundtrack. Pizza Tower is a very great game, and I definitely recommend it to anyone who is even slightly interested, as I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hopefully we can see updates to this game in the future, maybe even possibly including another playable character, hopefully the noise. That's all I have for today, and I do definitely recommend this game. 